Hi, my name is Janata Petrus Nassau, and my book, The Stars and the Blackness Between Them, is this year's Read Brave Selection 2021. And I'm like, so over the moon. St. Paul is such a beloved city to me. I visited there growing up with where my cousins and my aunt and my uncle and other family and friends. Um, I have gotten to go to Penumbra, the Science Museum, all of these tremendous cultural and art spaces that really shape me as an artist. So to have my book selected is a huge honor is an understatement. And I'm so excited at all the ways that I'll get to engage community. So a little bit about my book, um, The Stars and the Blackness Between Them is a young adult, black diaspora, futuristic love story. Um, I really enjoyed writing it. Um, there features two characters, one from Trinidad, Audrey, who gets sent up to live with her Black American father, and she befriends a girl, Mabel, who is from a tight-knit family, and she works in a garden with her mom and her dad. Mm. Um, so this book finds these girls getting to know each other just as Mabel finds out a very serious diagnosis for her body. And um, as they're starting to connect and Audrey tries to help heal Mabel, um, Mabel discovers a book written by a man on death row called the stars and the blackness between them and he's an astrologer and he talks about black life black spirit black spirituality astrology and um yeah the book has was such a beautiful gift to receive um as a writer to put on the page and i've loved all the conversations I've gotten to have, um, whether it's having to do with queerness, whether it's around discovering um, just something about yourself, discovering love, astrology, like I nerd out on astrology a lot on calls. Um, I've been fortunate to talk to kids all over the country um, and adults all over the country who've read this book. Um, I consider this book a very intergenerational book. So it's a book that like has characters that are teens as well as um, grandparents, elders, um, and everybody in between. So I feel like this is a book that I feel a lot of people can relate to and connect to. Um, and it's yeah, I, I just want to allow folks to know that like this experience is one that I'm really excited to just be open and talk about all of these themes. Like, how do we heal through love? How do we learn about the parts of ourselves that feel like we can't share? Um, how are we healing our bodies and have fun? So I'm hoping to do a lot of events. Um, I know I'm going to be meeting with some students, um, but I also want to do some fun outdoor events. Um, I know we've been cooped up for the last year and it feels significant that this book is the first um, book that's being done just as we're slowly starting to like heal and see a uh, light at the end of the tunnel regarding Corona. So I hope this book that really has so much to do around healing and love and pleasure um, is a book that you enjoy. And I can't wait to talk with everybody in St. Paul about this book and the themes and yeah. So oh, again, thank you so much for being on this journey with me. And I hope to get to connect and engage with you in some ways. And thank you again, St. Paul Public Libraries and the city of St. Paul and all of the people who are part of the selection of my book, including the teens um, who selected my book, like huge honor. Mwah. Have a good day.